Welcome back! We are so excited to be here and welcoming you back. We've been working together all this week getting ready for your return. I'm Lori Carpenter. I'm the principal here at the elementary and I'm also a parent. I have an older son who's graduated last a year and a bit ago, and a younger son who's in grade 12. I'm Anita Wood and I am the assistant principal. I also teach grade four part-time. I am a former parent. I have two students or children who are in uh, university now. And I'm just excited to be celebrating my 29th year working here at LCS. I'm just returning after, for some of you who may not know, a medical leave uh, since effectively essentially last January. And I'm just so thrilled to be back here and being in my own skin and being who God created me to be. I know that he called me to this work. And I know that he brought us all here together to build a community of faith and learning. And I think about our theme verse that we have have this year from John 15 verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit and apart from me you can do nothing. As I reflect on my last months, I think deeply about how apart from Christ I, I truly am nothing. I'm weak and I, I don't have um, and I'm just so blessed to be rooted in Christ and, and get to think about how that reflects into our community. And that's what we want to invite your children into this mm -hmm. year of how does our identity in Christ reflect out and impact our friendships and our community and our learning and our families. I'm just so grateful to be here. Mm -hmm. Anita, Mrs. Wood, what are you excited about? Oh, I'm excited about a lot. First of all, I'm excited to have you back because I missed you <laughs> and I love working with you. I'm also excited to welcome back students because they are so wonderful and amazing. They fill this place with joy and it's just not the same without them. I'm excited to connect again with parents because you're such an important part of our community and we appreciate and value your support. But then there's some other things that uh, are new to us this year maybe and one of them is I'm excited about the potential for grass. We don't have it yet. It's coming. They're laying the groundwork right now but the promise of green out there instead of mud and dirt is really exciting, so stay tuned. But we've also made some changes this year that I'm super excited about, and one in particular is our chapel. We decided we wanted to refresh chapel and try some things in a new way. We'll have praise and worship chapels, we will have grade level led chapels, and we're also um, opening up our chapels to guest speakers. We just really want this to be a time where our kids grow and thrive in their faith and also in their connection with each other as a community of believers. We're even working on trying a new seating arrangement just to make it more intimate and so we'll see how that all goes. This year we're going to pilot a, a program called One School, One Book where every family in the school will get the same book and over a five week period we're going to read that book together whether you read the chapter at home as a family or you listen to one of our staff members read the story and there'll be activities that are connected with it and we'll just celebrate literacy together as a school. And finally, I'm excited about our Week of the Arts. So in May, we're going to invite staff and we're going to invite community members and family, our parents and local artists to come in to the school in the afternoons and just provide workshops in different art fields for our students to participate in. So whether it's the visual arts, drama, dance, music, we're going to celebrate the arts together and just mix it up and have a great week together of learning. So, Lori, what are you excited about? I'm just excited to walk the halls and be with your kids again, be with our staff again, and I've just yearned to be back in this space. And I'm just filled with gratitude uh, for the care and love I've experienced from God, from my mm -hmm. friends, from my family, and from you, my school community. I'm just, just so thrilled to be back. As we move towards the start of school in just a short week and a half, we just want to share a couple of tips about inviting you into a smooth start to the school year. Here we are in our drive through lane. And it's empty. Yeah, usually <laughs> really, really packed. Uh, it's a great time to drop off your kids. Uh, I, actually, no. Don't, we're not <laughs> super ready for that. We just want to have a couple of tips for our drop off procedures. Probably the first one is just having grace and patience with each other. There's about three to 400 cars that have to come through this parking lot on any given day. Just the nature of our spot in the neighborhood. This isn't a school that most families can walk and bike. Everybody needs to come in a car. It, uh, and we have a number of students on a bus but there's a lot of cars coming through and just having grace and patience for each other would just help a lot. If we could prioritize a little bit the parking lot for K and 1 parents who need to walk their littles to the door, that would also be really helpful. You can drop off between 8.15 and 8.30 and this is actually what it looks like at 8.15. Yes, it does. Right up till about 8.26-ish. Yes. And then it gets really jammed <laughs> for about six minutes. 
and, th and then it settles down again. So if we can spread out the drop off from 8.15 to 8.30, you'll find it's a little bit smoother. And we have people on duty to watch over your kiddos. Yeah, supervision starts at 8.15, so you're more than welcome to drop your kids off by then. A couple other things, if you notice that it's backing up on that end, taking a right, and I know sometimes that feels inconvenient for wherever you are going, but what it does is it lets that circle start moving, and when everyone's trying to turn left, the circle stops, and then you can't turn because the circle stopped. So taking a right helps it get moving again. Anytime you can carpool, and we reduce the number of vehicles in our lot, that really helps a ton too. But the biggest thing is having grace and patience with each other because there's just a ton of us that have to get through this space. Thank you. We are standing here in our main office, our, our elementary campus. This is where we have Mrs. Deepwell works and Mrs. Dick and someone new, Mrs. Brown. You'll get to see her here in the afternoons. She's been a great addition to our office support team already. We wanted to speak a little bit about the, the morning and how our days start here at the school. In the classrooms, teachers start with prayer and connection and it's this beautiful beautiful time of grounding the day in, in who God calls us to be and, and how we're going to learn together over the day. And we know, because we're both parents, yeah. that mornings can be really challenging and it's hard to get your kids out the door on time and we, we, we know this and understand this. Um, but we really appreciate all the efforts you make to get your kids to school on time because it really makes a difference in their day. When children miss that, that key grounding time first thing in the morning, um, we notice that kids tend to feel more disoriented, a little bit disconnected, and they, they've just missed that opportunity to ground themselves in their day. We say that with understanding that sometimes that's just the way your life rolls in the morning. Um, on the flip side, the same thing happens at the end of the day. Teachers intentionally wrap up the day with connection, reflection on the day, what is coming up next. And when there's lots of early pickups, it really disrupts that both in the classroom and for your child getting that grounding piece at the end of the day. So coming on time and leaving at the very end of the day, it would just really help us out and, it, and truly it helps your child out having a really positive day of learning. The same thing holds true for things like extended vacations and frequent absences. It impacts the rhythm and momentum of their learning and their connection with peers. And we really value community here and we really want to create as many opportunities as we can to develop and build those relationships. We really thank you for the opportunity to work with your kids and the work that you do, I know, to create a consistent, positive, faith-filled environment for them from home as well. And we're glad we get to partner with you on that. As we've been planning this week, one of the priorities that Mrs. Wood and I have been talking about a lot is um, how do we bring parents together? We know that a lot of parents feel disconnected and uncertain how to navigate and get in and, and connect and form that part of community. And that's such a big value of who we are as, as Langley Christian. A huge part is volunteering. And there's a lot of ways that you can volunteer. You can volunteer in a child's classroom if there's opportunities there. You can volunteer for special events, which happen during school time, but also out of school time. You can volunteer in the office. But a huge thing is we're looking for parents to volunteer to run clubs during lunch recess. We have kids who want to be involved and would really benefit from smaller group settings where they're doing something fun and exciting with a variety of peers, we don't have enough staff to run all the clubs we'd like to offer. We would love Lego club, games clubs, card clubs, dancing, acting. So if you have any interest, please reach out to me. Another thing is come to chapels. There's no limit on when you can come to chapel. We happily would invite you to come every week if you want. But we also want to invite you once a month to our little coffee and cookie time after chapel, just so you have an opportunity to connect with other parents. Field trips are another great way for you to get involved in your child's classroom. We always need drivers and chaperones and we really can't run our field trips without you. We have a lot of special events that need special decor um, and those things can happen in the evening. So when we do Christmas concerts, when we do one school, one book, we're gonna need a lot of support. So we're hoping that some of you will be helping us to make this a great event for our school community. Another one could even be being part of our pack. We have a, a strong pack who really wants to connect parents as well and get involved in volunteering opportunities. So just a shout out for the pack as well. Just a little heads up, on our first day of school, we're going to have some kind of coffee and cookie or treat opportunity. So stay tuned. We would love for you to stay and mingle at some point on the first day of school. We are looking forward to welcoming you all here on Tuesday, September 3rd. We can't wait to see your smiling faces. Enjoy your last few days of vacation and we'll see you soon. See you soon.